Hello and welcome to how to use anchors in canvas panels. When you create a new widget, it will come with a canvas panel. So what that means is when you drag an object into it, such as this button here, it will come in and it will be placed anywhere you want on the canvas. Now this is where anchors come in. Anchors, as you can see here on the right hand side, is how you determine where it's going to reference the position from. So take a note of the position X and position Y here on the right hand side. As I move my box around here, you'll see the numbers change. And you'll see the further I get away from the top left hand corner, the higher the numbers go. That's because they are measuring their distance between this and the anchor, which is this thing here in the top left. By default, everything is anchored to the top left. Now you can change the anchor. Go to the anchors button on the right hand side. You can choose any of these anchor settings here. You've got uh, top left, middle, and so on forth. And you've also got the full width ones as well. Um, let me just bring this over here. You can see the full size of it. So here you've got all the various options you have. If I change this to use the bottom right one, you can see now how the position X and position Y are very different as to how they were. That is because they are referencing the bottom right hand corner now. Now you see it's gone into negative numbers. That's because it is on the left hand side of this anchor. Now when we are aligning this thing, we may want to align it to something like the middle of the screen. I change the anchor here to the middle of the screen and then go to position X, position, position Y so it's zero. You may think this would center the whole entire object. In fact, it doesn't. What it's doing is actually referencing the top left hand corner of the widget. This means that when we're getting those positions, we're actually setting the position of the top left hand corner of the widget itself. And that is in reference to the anchor. But we can change that using this alignment tool here. Now the alignment tool is by default set to 0, 0. If I change that from 0 to 0 0.5, you can see how it adjusts to the center of the whole object. The 0.5 refers to 50% of the width of the object. And again for Y, 0.5, Will keep us dead center now the benefit of using anchors means that that object will now always be in the center of the screen no matter the size of the screen consider this problem if i had the anchor here to the top left and my uh, my object down here in the bottom right i didn't change it at all and let's say the player was playing on different size screen so if i go to an ex extreme example and change it to an iphone screen you can see how the spacing has changed massively on the right hand side that's because it is anchored to the top left. Therefore, the distance between it and the top left are, is the same, but that is, does not take into account the bottom right. So if your object here is going to be in the bottom right, make sure you do anchor it to the bottom right. That way, when you change the screen size, it doesn't matter. It will always be the same no matter where you go. And that is anchoring. If you enjoyed this episode and want to see more how-tos, head over to patreon.com forward slash Ryan Ailey. We can find more videos by me before everyone else in just $1 a month. Thanks very much for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and I'll see you all next time. Bye everyone.